hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another exciting tutorial so as you can see this tutorial is for terraform so we are in the continuation of our terraform tutorial so in the previous tutorial we spoke about infrastructure as code and what is the importance of terraform in infrastructure as code so we'll be covering some of those uh, key points in this tutorial as well so and you know in the current uh, you know industry like uh, when we are working on devops terraform has become a crucial part because most of our infrastructure has been moved into cloud environment and uh, terraform help us uh, uh, big time in uh, managing the infrastructure so if you are looking for you know a full course on terraform Yes, you are in the right place. So we'll be, you know, continuing this uh, full uh, course tutorial in the coming uh, weeks. So uh, this is the second tutorial on Terraform. So you continue this playlist and you should be able to have a complete understanding on Terraform and cloud as well. So we are also have a tutorial on cloud where we'll be combining together why Terraform and how to make use of infrastructure uh, you know, management in cloud using Terraform. So before I get into the actual uh, discussion on what we're going to do in this tutorial, uh, let's give you know let me give you a quick highlight on this tutorial, then we'll move forward. Great, so uh, to get started, you know, if you are new to this topic on Terraform, the first thing what I want to discuss is what is Terraform. If you are not uh, sure about Terraform, you should have a good understanding of uh, that before we can get started. So Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code uh, software tool created by HashiCorp. So HashiCorp is the organization uh, which has created this open source uh, infrastructure as code tool and uh, Terraform is one of the uh, uh, key infrastructure of tool used uh, because it have a lot of uh, you know, so providers which we can use and we can deploy a lot of infrastructure in the cloud environment. Okay, so when we say about uh, you know, infrastructure as code, you should know first what is infrastructure as code. So let's quickly talk about what is infrastructure as code. So we already covered this uh, in, a, in one of our previous tutorials, so you can have a look on that so you can get a complete picture. So just to give you a quick rec recap on if you're not sure what is IAC. So infrastructure as code uh, is, you know, are the tools which allow you to manage your infrastructure with configuration files rather than graphical user interface. For example, you create a cloud instance or you want to create a Docker, you want to you know, uh, go to some uh, you know, web-based portal where you have to click and you have to create your virtual machines or you have to run some command line you know, to create your Docker containers. So rather than that, you can manage this using configuration file. So you write a configuration file and you can run that so it will automatically create your uh, you know, uh, servers or you know, networks and all those things. So treating your infrastructure configuration and provision in the same way you treat your application code, so source codes. That's the uh, concept of infrastructure as code. So you are going to create, a, you know, um, like you have you manage your uh, source code in Git GitHub repositories and all those things. So the, you know, in IAC, the configuration files are created that contain your infrastructure specification. Uh, which makes it easier for you to edit and distribute this configuration. So if you want to create a server with you know this much of memory or you want to create an AWS or Azure, what you can do is you create a configuration file where you specify your specification and you create keep it in some source code repository. So you know in future if you want to edit it or somebody want to use it, so it's easy for you to distribute this configuration. So that's the basic concept of infrastructure as code. So you can see like, a, as I mentioned, uh, the, all these modules are typically stored in version control system. So that's what the overall concept of infrastructure code. So rather than you creating manually through some graphical interface, you write a configuration file, you keep it in a source code, you can distribute it to anybody. So anybody run that configuration file, they are going to create the same kind of infrastructure. So let's get back to what is Terraform. So we already discussed Terraform is an open source IAC software, okay? And uh, to give you more details, like, you know, uh, we discussed what is infrastructure as code, which is the process of managing 
provisioning this computer data centers through machine readable uh, or definition files right so it's like a definition files you create rather than you creating through physical hardware configuration or interactive configuration tools so terraform is this open source uh, you know uh, infrastructure as code tool and this will allow you to build change or versioning your infrastructure safely and efficiently so you can do everything with using infrastructure you know this uh, terraform uh, the infrastructure as code tool okay and uh, you write this configuration as a code using declarative configuration files so you are going to write you know the terraform config file which will have the you know complete information about your what infrastructure you want to deploy it now uh, let's see why terraform okay so uh, we are uh, have seen like you know what is infrastructure as code what is terraform now what is the benefit of using terraform so this uh, you know details i'm sharing is directly from the terraform.io which they have mentioned you know these details so if you see the benefit of using is like uh, codify your application infrastructure that means you are going to reduce the human errors or increased automation so if you see the devops the overall it's a you know, change of culture and you know breaking the barriers between devops and operation teams right uh, how you can do that is like you automate more stuff and you you know reduce the barrier so you so in order to do that so in the deployment of your application to an infrastructure and all those things you may start using you know terraform where you have a configuration or you know creating your uh, codifying your you know infrastructure and you keep it so that you know you're going to keep using the same configuration file for that purpose so it will reduce your human errors and also increasing this automation using the infrastructure as code and you know the managing this infrastructure uh, you know across different kind of cloud so it's not like you can use terraform only for microsoft azure or aws or google cloud you can use you know it, uh, terraform to multiple uh, cloud platforms so it, it has around you know three, 300 plus public clouds and services using a single workflow so you can provision your infrastructure across you know uh, any kind of uh, cloud provider so you have uh, providers listed in the terraform which i will uh, will discuss it you know later point of this tutorial and also you know the benefit of uh, the terraform is like once you create you know your uh, config file it's you know it's reproducible infrastructure it means you know you create this config file you provision this consistently testing staging production and with the same configuration file because every time you want to create the same a config file you don't have to redo everything again you just run the config file so you're going to create exactly the same you know environment again so let's see what we are going to do in this tutorial is like we are going to do a installation of our terraform so because uh, with this uh, second tutorial so we spoke about infrastructure as code now we are talking about terraform so we want to set up your our terraform first so we are going to do a manual installation of terraform there are different ways to do it you have a manual uh, binary file you have you know uh, no repositories from there you can install so we will see all those things in this section and also we will see uh, how you can verify the installation is successful and also we'll talk about uh, quite uh, some terraform providers which we can make use of it and also we'll see a sample uh, deploying a nginx instance or on a Docker instance using the terraform config file so terraform is not like just you can use it for cloud deployment you can also use for other providers so uh, the ngn uh, docker is one of other provider so using that we will deploy one of our nginx container uh, using the terraform config file but i'll not be talking about uh, how the terraform config file uh, and the, uh, will look like the modules and all those things which will come later point but this is a just sample i want to show you uh, so before i get into the actual demo where we are going to do so i would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button also like my video share and comment so i have a centos machine so this uh, you know, section what we are going to talk about installation of terraform the steps are going to be almost same even if it's a centos or ubuntu or red hat or any kind of i will show you the uh, terraform documentation the only thing is i have a docker install on this machine because i want to show you a sample so when i run the terraform file you know it can create a docker container on this machine itself now if you go to the terraform official documentation on the install terraform 
you will have uh, quite some detail like manual installation you have a uh, chocolate installation for windows you have you know linux installation using our repositories for whether it's ubuntu or sendos or fedox or amazon linux so quite some details are there so but uh, we will do the manual installation so we'll do the manual installation so uh, if you see uh, the manual installation also have a uh, two kind of options like uh, compile uh, pre-compiled binary or compile so i will go with this pre-compile because it's the simplest one where you just need to you know uh, download the binary file and then you just need to unzip and you have to put it so the uh, place you have to do is you have to go to the appropriate packages so if you go to this uh, file uh, uh, web page you will have options to download so i'll go to this linux and i'm going to copy this link and i will uh, download this Okay, so I don't have duplicate, so let me install the duplicate first. So I have a duplicate installed, so let me go duplicate and download this uh, binary file. So you can see it's a zip file uh, which is getting downloaded. So you can see the file is downloaded and it's available in this uh, folder. So now I have to unzip it, so I have to install. Uh, I don't have. Uh, unzip uh, no application available so you can install zip and unzip so zip is not required but you can install uh, both if you want and uh, then we will uh, unzip the file okay so now let me unzip it so you can see it has unzipped and you have the folder called traform okay the file and now what we need to do is uh, we need to move this uh, file into the location so what you need to do is you can just check the path variable so you can see the path is under uh, you know user local bin so i will move this uh, terraform file into this uh, path so that you know uh, we can make use of this uh, terraform uh, file so what i will do is i will move slash terraform to this location user local bin okay now if i go to user local bin you should have a uh, terraform over here okay so that's all uh, from the installation part it's pretty simple you download the binary you unzip it you move that uh, file terraform file into the the your path location so now if i go to terraform hyphen help you can see terraform is listing me all the options so that means terraform is installed you, it will give you all the details like uh, commands which we can use so it's a pretty simple installation it is, you are going to use the same procedure for whether it's uh, Ubuntu or uh, you know, other flavors of Linux but the only thing is you just need to download the respective zip file. Now since the Terraform installation is completed so in order to create the Terraform uh, file you know you need to have a provider so you have to define in the Terraform file like what kind of infrastructure you want to create. So you're going to define like I want to create an AWS or Azure, Google Cloud. So you can see the providers listed here, right? Whether it's a Kubernetes or Alibaba Cloud or it's an Active Directory. So you have quite some options here. If you search for uh, Docker, now you can see there are different options for Docker as well. So we are going to use this uh, provider by, you know, Chris Worker. So this is the one which we are going to use uh, for the Docker uh, container which we are going to create. So let me uh, show you the you know the file which we are going to write. So now, uh, as I said, this is not a tutorial for uh, you know talking about how you can write the uh, Terraform files and the config files. Uh, these are just a sample. I just want to show you. Like if you see this, the Terraform, uh, we are going to define the provider. So I'm going to define like the Docker provider here, which is the version. So if you see you have to check the version here and you can update uh, which version you want to use okay and you know uh, what we are going to do, define is like we are going to create a docker uh, using the docker image nginx latest we are going to create a container okay? and the container you know name is tutorial okay and uh, you know, this is the image which we are going to use and we are going to also define the ports which we are going to expose so now if you see the external port is that 8000 so if you access the application using port 8000 you should be able to access it so let's copy this uh, file okay now let's go back to your uh, machine i'm going to create a folder called uh, terraform files now i'll go to that folder okay 
and uh, I'm going to create a file called uh, main.tf and I'm going to paste this content over here okay? and I'm going to save this so now if you see we ha I have a file called main.tf now once you have the Terraform file what you need to do is you have to initialize your uh, Terraform you know the file so that it can download the dependencies or the you know plugins for that so we'll run Terraform.init so you can see it's uh, started looking for this provider right so it's tried it will download you know the uh, required of uh, you know plugins and all those things for running this uh, Terraform file so before we applying that we need to download that so now you can see Terraform has been successfully initiated right so let's uh, clear out the screen now we need to do is we need to use uh, let me clear out now we need to apply the Terraform file so before that I'll just me show you that there are no docker containers running okay and uh, there are no hidden containers as well now if I go to Terraform apply it will start applying this uh, Terraform file now you can see Terraform will perform the above described above and you need to press enter yes so once you enter yes only it will start you know the process okay so you can see there is a you know content here enter the value yes I think somehow it was uh, you know not showing because of the you know uh, picture I don't know what is the problem with this uh, you know so you can see that it's creating actually but uh, somehow it's uh, <laughs> gone white hmm? So you can see it's uh, creating the container images from with some uh, graphical problem in the page I believe so let's see so uh, wait, we will wait for this to be completed it's trying to create the container now you can see it says completed so you can see uh, apply completed resource uh, to add it so let me clear out the screen and if I go to docker ps now you can see we have a container running right so this container is now created you know the name of the container is tutorial as we created in that uh, Terraform config file so whenever you run this uh, Terraform config file it is going to create this uh, nginx container so if I go and check my IP address this is the IP address and if I access uh, the uh, application using this IP address and port 8000 let's see now you can see I access this application using our my IP address and port 8000 you can see we are in the nginx home page right so that's a pretty simple uh, step which I just wanted to show you like uh, how you can use a uh, Terraform config file to create so this is a sample you know which we showed with the docker container so but you know the we start using in the upcoming tutorial we are going to create you know uh, infrastructures on cloud so we'll have Azure uh, clouds we'll use it for AWS Google clouds all those things will be coming in the upcoming tutorial so if you have not set up Terraform I would say just follow this instruction set up your Terraform and have it ready so once we do it in the next tutorial you can follow along with us so I'm, I'm uh, really happy for your support and watching this tutorial so I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you want to watch more tutorials like this subscribe to my channel and also like my videos share and comment